So today is my last devotion with you, and so I decided to pick my favorite verse uh, to share with you. And if you've ever been in my office, this plaque was in there. So I'm going to read, it's from Jeremiah 29, verse 11, and I'm going to be reading a couple more verses from Jeremiah 29. So listen to God's word as it comes to us from Jeremiah. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. Then when you call upon me and come and pray to me, I will hear you. When you search for me, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. I will let you find me, says the Lord, and I will restore your fortunes and gather you from all the nations and all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord. And I will bring you back to the place from which I sent you into exile. As I said, this is probably one of my favorite verses, but if you knew anything about the history of it, Jeremiah is going to all the people that are in exile. And this is what he says to them. He says that God has a plan for them. So no matter what they go through in exile, they are to remember that God is present with them and that God wants them to keep moving forward no matter what their situation is. So I thought about ours. I thought, well, there's a virus there are riots, there are rallies. We don't know what the future holds, but we do know that God is present with us. We don't know what is um, in store for the church, but no matter what it is, be reminded that God has a plan for all of us. And no matter how difficult times are, God tells us to keep moving ahead to keep thinking about God's presence is with us in the midst of whatever we face. So God has a plan for you and God has a plan for me. And I trust that together we will move forward seeking to find God as God finds us. I wish you well and may God bless you.